Fate by Arthur Conan Doyle Read for LibriVox.org by Julia Niedermeyer I know not how I know, and yet I know. I do not plan to go, and yet I go. There is some dim force propelling, gently guiding and compelling, and a faint voice ever telling, this is so. The path is rough and black, dark as night, and there lies a fairer track in the light. Yet I may not shirk or shrink, for I feel the hands that link as they guide me on the brink of the height. Bigots blame me in their wrath, let them blame. Praise or blame the fated path is the same. If I droop upon my mission, there is still that saving vision, iridescent and elysian, tipped in flame. It was granted me to stand by my dead. I have felt the vanished hand on my head, on my brow the vanished lips, and I know that death's eclipse is a floating veil that slips or is shed. When I heard thy well-known voice, son of mine, should I silently rejoice or incline to strike harder as a fighter, that the heavy might be lighter and the gloomy might be brighter at the sign? Great guide, I ask you still, wherefore I? But if it be thy will that I try, trace my pathway among men, Show me how to strike and when, take me to the fight, and then, oh, be nigh. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. End of The Guards Came Through and Other Poems by Arthur Conan Doyle